नोइंग नंबर्स एडिटिव एंड मल्टीप्लिकेटिव इनवर्स लेट सी वॉट एडिटिव इनवर्स इज इफ यू हैव एनी रैशनल नंबर यू कैन एड अनादर रैशनल नंबर टू इट टू मेक इट जीरो दिस नंबर दैट यू एडिड इज कॉल्ड द एडिटिव इनवर्स ऑफ दैट नंबर For example, if you have a number four, you can add minus four to it and make it zero. So minus four is the additive inverse of four. What is the additive inverse of minus six? It is six. What is the additive inverse of seven by thirteen? It is minus seven by thirteen. So let's see a few examples. What is the sum of the additive inverses of minus two upon seven, and forty six upon sixty three, and minus four upon nine? So the additive inverse of minus two upon seven is two upon seven. The additive inverse of forty six by sixty three is minus forty six by sixty three. And the additive inverse of minus four upon nine is four upon nine. So what's the sum? Two upon seven plus minus forty six upon sixty three plus four upon nine, which is equal to eighteen minus forty six plus twenty eight upon sixty three. So what did we just do? We found out the LCM. So the answer is zero upon sixty three. So the answer is zero. Now let's look at multiplicative inverse. If you have any rational number, you can multiply another rational number to it to make it one. This number that you multiplied with is called the multiplicative inverse of that number. For example. If you have a number four, you can multiply it by one upon four to make it one. So one upon four is the multiplicative inverse of four. What is the multiplicative inverse of seven by thirteen? It is thirteen by seven. Let's see an example. What is the sum? Of the multiplicative inverses of four upon seven and four upon nine. The multiplicative inverse of four upon seven is seven by four, and the multiplicative inverse of four by nine is nine by four. What's the sum? Seven upon four plus nine upon four, which is sixteen by four, which is equal to four. So option number four is the correct answer. Next question: If the multiplicative inverse of three by five is added to x upon y, we get seven upon three. Then what are the values of x and y? The multiplicative inverse of three by five is five upon three. So five upon three plus x upon y. Is equal to seven upon three. So x upon y is two upon three. So the correct answer is option number three, two and three. What is the sum of the additive inverse of seven upon four and the multiplicative inverse of four upon seven? The additive inverse of seven upon four is minus seven upon four. The multiplicative inverse of four upon seven is seven upon four. Minus seven upon four plus seven upon four is equal to zero. So the correct answer is option number four, zero. And that brings us to the end of. additive and multiplicative inverse